Hi and welcome to part 3 of the beginner and advanced Java tutorial writing and reading files. Uh, in the last videos we covered reading a file, uh, reading a text file, writing a text file and then in the special intro video I demoed how to download an image using Java. So now I'm going to show you the exact steps that I went through in order to achieve this. So let's get into it. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need in order to get this done. So by default, I just downloaded this image file from the internet and saved it on my local machine so it's it will be difficult to show that i've successfully read an image and i was and i successfully wrote an image so pretty much like a copy and paste uh so the workaround around on this is going to be taking this original existing image and trying to make a copy of it onto the the same project so let's get into it the first thing that i need is to add a try catch block to handle any of the errors that we experience and the first thing we're going to add the first object we're going to add is the file input stream And I need to specify the location of where the image is stored. The next step, I need to add a buffer, which is a byte array that has a size of 120, 1024 bits. And then I'm going to need a file output stream. And then we're going to specify that we want to write out the image as input or oh, as output dot jpg. Now we need to read the file. So in order to do it, to do this, we need to keep track of whether we are done reading the file or not, or we are done reading the image or not. So in this instance, we're going to need to declare an integer of read and then have a while loop that reads from the file input stream. And then make sure that the file still has content. So we are reading while the file still has content. So should fix that. And then uh, while we reading, we need to specify that we are copying the contents of that image onto a buffer that we're going to start from zero until so you want to read the whole buffer now in order to write it we're going to use the file output stream and call the write method and then we're going to use the third option in this case where i'm going to specify that i'm going to use the contents inside the buffer starting from zero and continue writing as you read then once that's done i'm closing the file output stream and then have to close the file input stream okay now on the left hand side of the ide 
you should be seeing an output.jpg file, image file. And there we go. See image, there we go, output and image output exactly the same. So that's the first the first step. We've managed to read a file locally and then write it out locally. Now let's take it one step further. In the next section I'm going to cover how to read a video and then write the video locally. Okay, so now as you can see the, the code base hasn't changed from reading an image. So the only thing that's going to change here is specifying the file. So this would be video.mp4 and the output would be output.mp4. Now let's see if this algorithm that we wrote here uh, will allow us to have a output.mp4 file. Let's see. And there we go. But how can we verify that this file is a copy of this file? So we can open uh, we can open the folder where our project is. The screen where we have the video, the original video and the output video. And as you can see, the sizes are the same. So if I can play the first one, there we go. Now let's play the output file. As you can see, we're able to read a video and write it onto our file system. So nothing major changed there. So now for the bonus content, how do we read an image from the internet and then write it onto our local machine? That's going to be covered in the next section. Okay, so the best example for me to show you is by using Twitter. So this is an image I'm going to download from Twitter and then save it onto my machine. Now, in order to get the link to this, I'm just gonna right click on the image and say copy image address and then save it here in the code. So I'll just comment it out and have it there. So as you can see, this is the link that I'm going to use to get that image from. So now the next step is to get started. So what do I need to get started? So the very first thing I need URL object. So I'm going to declare my URL object. And then I'm going to paste this URL onto the one of the parameters there. Then I need a semicolon, right? Then once I have that, I need a URL connection there. Once I have it, now we're not working with file input streams anymore. Now we need to work with buffer input streams. So I'm going to declare a buffered input stream. All right, where I'm going to pass in my URL connection. So I'm gonna say get input stream. Once I have my buffered input stream, now I can write it onto our machine, which is a file of, uh, using a file output stream.
and then I want to save it in the source folder name it Twitter image dot jpg once I have that I need to have a buffered output stream to write out this image onto our file onto our file system so you remember what we have here can just remove this file output stream we don't need it anymore however we do need the buffer and we do need this read so we're going to leave things exactly the same we're going to be reading from the file input stream uh okay no 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 we're going to be reading instead of reading from the file input stream oh yes we need to remove this as well so instead of reading from our file input stream we're going to be reading from our buffered input stream and that's all you need to change and then we need to be closing the buffered input stream and also don't forget about the buffered output stream okay now say we're going to save this as a twitter image so let's see how our code runs okay as you can see we managed to download a twitter image of twitter and here are the results if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you like this type of content be sure to like and if you have any questions or have any request videos leave those in the comment section thank you bye